Hello and welcome to Calagre Market. We are pretty late starting today, uh, mostly because uh, the NSE data is not out on FII and DI, but interesting day, interesting time. Probably the kind of opening we did not expect. Sorry about the very, very late start. I waited till 10 o'clock to see if we can start this thing with the FII DI data as usual, but FII data did not come. And so I thought, okay, let's hit the stop loss. And so we have hit the stop loss, but I have cash market data. Uh, so happy news up front. We got that YouTube creator award. I think you must have seen the, uh, you know, I think I, I wish I had the trophy around to show, but I think last time I got any trophy was when I was in college. Yeah, college. Yeah. So, so anyway, uh, I, I, I guess NSE has been, NSE has problems every time there is a very volatile day, right? FI data doesn't come, biocopy doesn't come, sometimes stick doesn't work, but yeah, anyway. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into Kyala Gram Market. I'll share my you know, screen as usual to do all this. So I think long time back when we were talking about it, we always were talking about 15,900 can produce some support, but sell on optics, right? So finally, 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 we have reached our 15,900. This is the line we drew, I think, uh, uh, last Friday or Thursday or something. And it has come to this line. Let me just magnify that to get some more perspective. So it has hit this line, uh, 15,900. It looks like there is some kind of an indecision here because we saw a lot of swings today at this level. And now we have a perfect, perfect doji, like perfect doji, right? Look at how thin the body on that is. So Nifty has taken a pause according to the chart. And uh, uh, we have a stable Nifty because, you know, 5900 is a horizontal support, 5900 has come, the channel is broken. So this is also very important. <laughs> this channel, right, which we are drawing is broken. The COVID channel, of course, is broken long time back. So we are in a, I mean, I... I'm very scared to see this, but it looks like we are in a long-term structural bear market. I mean, half the people who are saying buy the dip are going to murder me today, but it looks like that, right? Because it fell out of this channel. It fell out of this channel. So now it is in free falling territory. Now the most likely event is that it can go up till here and come back or maybe up till here and come back. But it is fairly certain that we have a breakdown of two channels and it means that market is in a structural bear market and we are in a bear market unless otherwise proven. So that is the first part, right? So we are in a bear market. Like I'll just say it again. We are in a bear market. You can't ask me ki boss itna gira or kitna girega, right? Because that's not how the market works because nobody was asking ki boss itna upar gaya. Oh, actually a lot of people were asking kitna upar gaya. How much more can it go in 2020, 2021, right? But it went up to 18,500. Just like before COVID, it was 12,000. During COVID, it was 8,000 and it went to 18,500. Now it, and all of us were asking, Ki yaar, kitna aur jayega, kitna aur jayega. this is crazy. Similarly, now we are in a zone where we ask, Ki boss, kitna gira, kitna gira aur kitna girega. Scott is asking, is 15,500 put monthly sell? Scott, yeah, this is my problem, right? Why are you not asking 16,500 call is not a sell? Why are you always bet? Not always. Why are we betting against the trend? In fact, this is the first question you have asked. I don't even know what questions you ask. But see, this is the problem, right? A friend of mine today was also asking, why don't we sell 40, uh, 15,500 put? Yeah, what is this urge to, you know, go against the trend. What is this urge to call the bottom? What is this urge to say, Ki boss, yeah, I am going to be the first person who uh, predicts the bottom. That's not how it works, right? It's a pointless exercise. What we really have to focus is on understanding the trend and playing the trend at good entry points, which means if the market is trending up, buy on dips. If the market is trending down, sell on upticks. What is with this thing about let's me find this temporary bottom and exploit it? Chodo yaar. 16, oh, you know, 15,500 wala uh, uh, put chodo. Ye socho ki 16,200 wapas aayega to 16,500 beche ki nahi. Abhi ke liye kuch mat karo. That's also a very legit way of doing things, right? But nahi. So this is one, right? So Nifty is in a structural bear market. Let's look at um, what uh, option chain says. Option chain is less direct. So today everybody sold 16,000 calls. That is obvious. Some people sold 15,800 calls, but there was enough writing on 15,800 also. In fact, 15,800 has more puts than calls. 
and 16,000 has resistance but 15,900 doesn't have support or resistance. So 15,800 can possibly act as a support and with the PCR of 0.04 it is almost almost oversold. So I would really not want to bet on shorts now. Right now let's look at FIDI data. Yeah, you know, update me here. That's the problem. This is a sad thing. I mean, not sensible. Ne? Oh, yeah, okay. very nice. This is super nice. Uh, between the show, it happened. So, uh, 1.15 L calls and 2.64 L puts. It's very bearish. Today, they sold calls and bought pushed. Okay, this is not nice. <coughs> they sold 1700. Okay, so let's write these things down because I didn't have it. I had written not published. We change that. All cell minor put by mass. Futures data 1700 CR cell. Stock data 7000 crores cell. Right? 7000 crores cell. 7500 technically so what does that mean now uh, a retail bought around 2000 crores of stocks that's not nice bi bought 5000 crores of stocks abus maybe both kuch are all these people who are doing this year and tax saving through mutual fund dlss and all that i'm pretty sure because di flows include mutual fund flows right so basically we are the only ones who are buying and let me see how big this this today's sell figure today's sell figure is the third biggest sell figure ever since 2021 right so the biggest sell happened on 26th of 2021 the second biggest sell happened on 4th march friday third biggest sell is happening today which is 7400 crores fourth biggest was 25th jan so all of this is happening now right third march was also a big sell so we are in a massive massive selling market See, there might be some bounce and all. We, you can play that bounce or you can decide not to short at the bounce. But let's not make a mistake in understanding that this is uh, uh, this is like uh, 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 a very structural bear market, right? And as Sagar says, Sagar is one of our all-time longest viewers. Uh, Sagar says it's a huge risk, downside risk. That's the thing, right? If you sell the put, it can wipe you out in one trade. Agar hero banna ye and even I have, right? I bought some call spreads. Like, honestly, I bought call spreads today. Might be very stupid. Tomorrow I'm going to cry. I, I, I exited all my shots today. Uh, except I have 18,000 December 2022 calls, which we sold like last year or something. But otherwise, I don't have anything now. I think I have March 17,000 calls also. But like, you know, uh, it, it has hardly any premium left. But the Thing is, I didn't carry any puts long or futures short or anything today. I got out of all of them. Uh, like very nice uh, disciplined person I have become. And uh, I, I, for the fun of it, I just bought some uh, call spreads with like 20k max loss. Right? I, I, like 20k max loss, 20k maximum profit. I bought some 15, 850, 15, 950 call spreads. Like 850 buys, 950 sell for, for fun. Like just for fun. Max to max, you'll lose some 20k. Max to max, you'll gain for 20k. But other than, you know, this uh, compulsive uh, trades like this, I don't think anybody should be trading, especially in sell puts. Because if you sell a put and if it cracks, right, this is going to be madness. And one single trade like this can practically wipe you out. So it's not a good idea to sell puts here. Absolutely no sell puts. Sell calls, we'll get a bounce. We'll think about it then, right? So that is that. Now let's go to bank 50. Bank Nifty is looking more bearish than Nifty for a fact because so this was easy, right? We talked about it last week. We had said last week on Thursday that look, if there is a close below this channel, then there will be a break. <laughs> and that exactly played out. Channel broke on Friday and then it was a gap down, right? So that was fairly easy to trade. I don't know why I didn't take the trade. Maybe I was a wuss, but I did not. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but uh, I, I wish I had a little bit more, you know, whatever that thing is which makes people do all these trades so but then you could say there is a horizontal support in the formation somewhere here yeah i mean yeah but this is like i'm just chuma finding lines right I'm, I'm finding lines where nothing exists but i don't want to say this i'm going to delete this maybe it is there maybe it is not there i don't know what did i do
maybe it is there it is not there i don't know but uh, bank nifty uh, i'll try to sell if it comes back here at 35000 levels i don't know if it will happen but if i ever get a chance to sell it again here on gap fill i'll happily do that till then nothing usgnr the craziest asset class of all times uh, <laughs> i really don't know what to do uh, I, i'll tell you why right this graph is telling you only half the picture so let's just do this graph right i have one problem with trading view charts they actually don't look at domestic they look at international that is india closes at 5 pm and then they still show starts coming from new york or singapore or dubai or one of these things so this way you don't find anything right but the problem is if you look at uh, sorry let me just delete some of this usdinr watch future this is the one right yeah so if you look at today's domestic market see there is actually a line a trend line forming here if connect this gap this top this top and this top so so today i have a very strong feeling we might see some pause in the kind of mad momentum we have been seeing in dollar friday of course uh, i we could not do the show on friday evening because there's no market but at 4:45 pm on twitter if you follow our twitter and please do follow our twitter because uh, you know once in a while we do some very interesting stuff on our twitter so i'll show you one interesting thing which we did on friday evening we had tweeted um this right you can see the time stamp march 4th and uh, we said that at 4:45 yeah 4:47 pm march 4 2022 it said that looks like a breakout then 15 minutes left to cut shorts enter longs pyramid existing positions etc so there was an opportunity to buy the dollar here when the line was broken right because it also broke out fairly decent volumes as you can see here now it went up today now today's thing i don't want anything to do with it in fact i did not even wait till this level i exited uh, at 7684 and then i cried for the rest of the day so uh, i mean <laughs> i missed around 40 paisa and that's a lot of uh, paisa to miss on a breakout like this basically breakout happened but i did not have the you know whatever you have which makes you hold things with great courage so i did not have that thing so therefore i cashed out somewhere around here i i think i cashed out at open here i did not even cash out properly i cashed out at open and then i missed the rest of it but uh, but yeah anyway so uh, it went all the way till here now there is a support forming so now here's the overall verdict right it seems we might see a pause so i'm not saying we will see a pause I don't want to short here. I don't want to long dollar here. I don't want to short Nifty here. I don't want to short Bank Nifty here. I want to wait and see price action. I will look for this level again, the sixteen thousand to sixteen thousand one hundred levels, and see if it goes back into the channel. If it goes back into the channel, then there might be some more uptick, especially on this. You know, now I'll just extend this COVID channel. I'll watch again for this level, which is the bottom of this descending channel. Around sixteen thousand, like you can draw this chart. It's very easy to draw. And then the second zone is somewhere around here when it is sixteen thousand two hundred to three hundred. So sixteen thousand one hundred is my first resistance. Sixteen two hundred three hundred, if it happens, which I don't think it will, is my second resistance. I look to short again somewhere over here, but I won't short here because it's scary to short here. Dollar up because why? Because Nifty has seems to have hit a support, and dollar seems to have hit a long term trend line. Both of this will not will make me not. do risk on trades what are risk on trades trades you do when you think risk is coming back to the markets which is basically long short nifty short bank nifty long dollar etc i don't want to long dollar i don't want to uh, short nifty i don't want to uh, short bank nifty here i'll wait and see what happens to see if there is a uh, sell again on uptick's opportunity here so are sagar is also going live now which is why he is here okay now let's see so what's the last trade honestly nothing right absolutely nothing like see you can still do some put sell put spread sell and all with tiny lot sizes but this is the time for position sizing right in a so now what is the big trend the big trend is bearish the small trend is bullish right in a big bearish trend when you bet short you should bet 2 to 3x that 2 to 3 times the uh, uh two to three times the size and in your in a bearish market if you are long 
then it should be tiny position sizes right that's a very uh, uh, important thing Rajesh is saying exit poll effect will come tomorrow and BJP yeah I think it's factored right Nay, I thought I mean I thought BJP winning in UP and all was very very uh, so it is always factored so I don't think that is going to change anything much because uh, or maybe that's why SGX, SGX is so oh okay SGX is down but I don't know again SGX ka kya barosa, right because tomorrow is an entirely different day dollar is back to 7701 which is again high and that could be because Dow Jones is down 2%. But again, right, there's no point in looking at the, all this when, uh, uh, you know, uh, when, when, I mean, all of this do doesn't matter when there is something else much bigger happening out. There's no point in looking at this uh, thing right now and having tension. Uh, like Harshil is saying, maybe tomorrow will be green. Who knows? We'll see if when tomorrow uh, happens, right? Prasen is asking, have I considered doing stand-up comedy? Dude, in fact, the fun part is I actually did consider doing stand-up comedy in 2015. And, and for real, right? I'm not joking. This really happened. And um, a month after I tried doing that, I mean, I didn't do my first stand-up comedy yet, but a month after I decided I'll try doing one, I actually had a pretty major accident and I, I was on a bed for some time like actually nine months like pretty long i broke my spine now the interesting thing is so people did ask me what happened to my stand-up comedy plans and my standard reply to them was look i, I will do stand-up comedy as soon as i can stand up but uh, it doesn't seem to be happening but anyway that was my stand-up comedy story uh, so so anyway the the point is uh, uh dollar seems to have hit a a, a peak Nifty seems to be hitting some kind of a support. If this breaks, then we all know what to do. Uh, and the bank Nifty also seems to have broken up the channel. So I'm, I'm not saying that it is a long. All I'm saying is that maybe it is better to sell on better price action, better uptakes. Maybe you will get a negative candle, etc. I'm not saying that go buy here. Absolutely not. I'm still saying sell, but wait for the right sell to right level to sell. So anyway, that's our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. As usual, this is not... I want to do a pre-recorded mutual fund investments are subject to market risk kind of thing. But this is not multi-bagger or tips or, you know, a lot of get rich tomorrow scheme. This is a way in which we are analyzing market in a very steady, consistent manner so that we can profit from the patterns we are understanding. Um, uh, Sagar is asking my uh, uh, model for bet sizing. Sagar, YOLO. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, but, you know, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't have any criterions like that i do i mean anyway it doesn't matter because i don't trade with uh, much money so as long as you're not trading with uh, serious money it doesn't matter what your bet size is I, my, my only bet size is that my bet size is what doesn't bother me uh so anyway that concludes our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow thanks again for joining us and again thank you so much for giving us this it wouldn't have possible if we did not have you so sorry let me just see if i have any pictures i wanted to show the thing tomorrow we'll probably show the thing i don't know where i'll i think it's inside somewhere but basically this is what we got from youtube this is called a youtube creator award uh, for 100,000 subscribers we have 170k roughly and you also get a nice letter from susan who's the ceo of youtube it's, it's a lot of fun so again once again thank you from all of us for making this happen uh, we'll see you again on uh, we'll see you again on tomorrow evening so till then take care uh, and keep your capital safe guys